What up y'all DC Fago guy we are going to be jumping into the ICP comics by Chaos Comics Now I actually started this series years ago Never ended up finishing it. I did the first two issues of the comics, but I did it on a shitty camera and Being 2017 and everything I decided let's finish this series But because the first two were done on a shitty camera, I'm gonna go ahead and redo them so let's jump right into the ups and downs of the Wicked Clowns. Now I'm not going to actually go through and read everything to you guys, but I will kind of give you a nutshell of what's going on. Read some parts of it and everything like that so we can kind of follow the story along pretty well. Okay, So here you have a prologue of the Carnival of Carnage. You got a man here who comes home. He's a wife beater. And he's pissed because he doesn't have dinner ready when he gets home. You know, so he's threatening his, his wife and everything like that and she's finally had enough she grabs a knife to go fucking kill him and there she has it when instead you get uh whoa baby are you sure you want to do that check it out you kill him your life will be over too they'll lock that ass up lock the kids up so he says let us do it of course he's got the carnival of carnage there breaks into the living room hey bitch boy you like circus acts what the fuck this one will kill ya. Welcome to the Dark Carnival, motherfucker. Prologue number two, the Ringmaster. Now here you have kind of like a, what would you say, a street boss or whatever like that. Somebody with a lot of money owns the block. He's driving around talking about how he's going to tear places down and everything. He's going to own everything in the area. So they're driving by and they hear thump, thump, thump coming from a place. And, uh, you know, who the fuck allowed them to get a license, you know, to start a nightclub? They go to go in. You got an invitation, chicken neck, right there. Don't y'all know who I am, boy? Who's in charge here? Relax there, Mr. Billy Balls. I have one pass left for two. You and Sugar Tits can come on in. That's what was said there. So they come on in, and who's in charge? The Ringmaster. Step right up. Who's next? Prologue number three, the Riddle Box. So you have a little boy here who's trying to go to school. He's getting harassed by, basically, I'm assuming, either a drug dealer or some kind of a drug dealer of that kind so right here I'm just gonna read this please mister my, my mom said to give you this she said that if you stop taking my lunch money and stuff she'll try and give you more on the first of the month she said to tell you I don't have a dad or else she'd pay you sooner gee that's a real sad story you know so takes his money anyway he goes to he goes to a cop no one will help him. Can you see that? No, you can't see that. No one will help him. Kid, I can't go running off every time some brats get involved in a schoolyard brawl. Now beat it, I got work to do. No one has time for him. He's late for school, getting sent to the principal's office. No one cares. The principal's telling him he needs to grow thick skin and be a tougher kid. He's all alone. But wait, hold up little juggalo, this is your lucky day, your very lucky day. Hey dick face! Same motherfucker again. What you got here little hoe? Hey, that that's mine, the clowns gave it to me. I'll give you a clown right up your bitch ass, get the fuck out of here! Takes his riddle box, turns the crank, axed. Didn't your mama ever didn't your mommy ever teach you not to take things that didn't belong to you? Off the hell he goes. But wait, there's more. The cop, the teacher, and the principal. So flashback before the coming of the Dark Carnival, back to Inner City Posse. They're heading to a show. 
they see some guys uh, crossing out their flyers and crossing their names out so they stop to whoop their ass and one of the thugs is all like I'm telling you Mr. Lomax he was trash we was trashing ICP's posters like you told us to and they attacked us we was outnumbered three to one stop your whining Jack my boss Big D will be most displeased where are the inner city posse right now they out rocking the show in the city bus got the dog beats ICP we got the dog beats you know so they have a successful show they head off to find some chicks to get laid with and they get fucking jumped again only this time Mr. Lomax is with them I'm troubled my friends the inner city posse has refused my offers to join the keep it real family of recording artists time and again Meanwhile, ICP's popularity grows, taking attention away from my artists, and therefore money out of my pockets. What are we going to do about this situation? I'll tell you what you can do. You can stick your head up your ass and roll the fuck out of here. ICP is never going to join your messed up crew. Take your skinny stick up your bitch ass back home before I rip your face off and wipe my ass with it. I assumed as much. Very well. If you won't switch, I hope you're prepared to fight with a whole fucking army. So they get their ass whooped next day at work. The boss telling them about some toxic waste they gotta go clean up. So they down cleaning up some toxic waste. And I'm um, pretty sure it was the guys that jumped him here. Your crew has quit the ICP, assholes. But I get the feeling you two will never give up. You got that right, fat jack shitty lips. Come down here and let me do a Jackie Chan upside your face. I don't think so. You'd be dead meat now. Give my regards to St. Peter, suckers. <laughs> I about said fuckers there. So they get locked down in there. And they get approached by that they discover and get approached by the dark carnival be warned my children six will will visit followed by the crumbling of time itself before the coming of Shangri-La a dark carnival will sweep across the land as a shadow plagued with destruction the dark carnival is coming a parade of freaks jugglers and death this wretched nightmare is led by six faces of the Joker's cards. Will you submit to become the earthly prophets of the Dark Carnival in the guise of the wicked clowns? You would usher in the fall of death. And they just simply say, Yeah, sure, I guess we could be down with that shit. What kind of money we talk what kind of money you talking about? <laughs> Very well, the first card is now to be revealed. The Carnival of Carnage. It was in this it was in this way the inner city posse died and in their place was born the wicked clowns that's actually a sweet ass picture I got a pretty cool poster of that too as years go by the wicked clowns do the gruesome wet work of the dark carnival along the way a second card was revealed the ringmaster with the power of another card the wicked clowns grow stronger occasionally taking time to settle old scores then a third joker's card was revealed the riddle box and soon after fat back jack was no more as the years pass jay and shaggy continue their mission as the insane clown posse who's going chicken hun please go and check it hot so fast forward back to today my associates and I are very interested in handling this insane clown posse, Lomax. Please see to it right away. Yes, Big D, I know what to do. So the Dark Carnival then tells them, The insane clown posse will be approached by an enemy of the cause. That wasn't a very uh, overpowerful, mythical voice, was it? The insane clown posse will be approached by an enemy of the cause. 
he will give you the opportunity to spread the word of the Dark Carnival to a vast, ignorant audience. You know what to do. Meanwhile, the spirit of the Dark Carnival reveals the latest Joker's card, the Great Malenko. So they're heading up to the record offices to talk to Mr. Lomax. And uh, while they're there, very well, if you'll just sign the contracts, everything will be in order. Gee, thanks, Mr. Lomax, sir. Yeah, Mr. Lomax, you the bomb. Which was all a ploy now that he has the, their, now, now that he owns them contractually, he will uh, pull all their CDs and they'll never release another album. So they unleash the Dark Carnival onto Mr. Lomax, who then calls his boss. Big D, the wicked clowns have got me, and they're coming after you next. Help me, Big D, help me. Get a hold of yourself, Lomax. Lomax, you're breaking up. Hello? Hello? It was actually Shaggy. Mr. Big Dick, tell him we're coming up there. Tell him to chill the Fago. Package for you, Big D. Oh my god, it's Lomax's head. Security, security. So now they're up in the uh, Big D music offices now to go find him you know they're cutting through security finally make it into the office the police are on the way don't try anything funny no funny shit fuck that shaggy show them some funny shit <laughs> now that's some funny shit may we have your attention please now, what's all this anti-juggalo shit about? Actually, it was their idea. They're my spiritual advisors. You two are the spawn of Satan and must be destroyed. And don't think you can hide behind the free speech amendment neither. We gonna ruin you. Tell you fuck nuts. I'll tell you fuck nuts what. You render this contract null and void and we won't chop you up with our axes. Oh, all right, all right. There, the contract is broken. Just leave us alone. See how easy that was? Catch you bitches on the flip-flop. Oh, one last thing. Watch your step to hell. It's a long way down. Which just doesn't have the same ring to it as it's a long fall. A long, long way. So... They say it's not the agonizing fires that cause the greatest torment to souls damned to hell. And so the insane clown posse are free to find a record company that will appreciate and promote them. Soon they will be performing all over the world waiting for the final two cards to be revealed spreading the gospel of the dark carnival until the destruction of time. Next issue, somebody better juggle my balls or something. You better watch your ass, because the wicked clowns will be watching you. Later, don't let the door hit you where the good lord splits you, bitch. Next issue, the arrival of the amazing Jekyll Brothers. The end. So there you guys go. That is the ups and downs of the wicked clowns. You can go check out the Hollow Wicked comic review that I did back on Halloween. Otherwise, stick around for the next issue, the amazing Jekyll Brothers.